I feel like I could just dislocate my arm. That really hurt. Hello, hello, I'm Florentina Faconti and welcome to another theatre review. Today I'm going to be talking about my trip to see Blythe Spirit at the Harold Pinter Theatre. Unfortunately the show has closed now and I doubt it'll open again with this cast, but I thought I'd do a brief review anyway because I really loved it and I want to keep a little catalogue of all my trips. This video is also a little bit different because there's no vlog in this one. I wanted to have a nice chilled day where there was no pressure to make content. But I'll tell you briefly what I got up to. I was sat by the river for a long time and I also went for a really Really long walk between like Temple and Fleet Street, just sort of that general area in a lot of circles. <laughs> but exciting news, exciting for me, maybe not for you. I was craving something sweet when I was walking down Fleet Street. I didn't want to finish that sentence because it rhymed. <laughs> I don't know whether it was fate, destiny, whatever you want to call it, but I stumbled across a donut time. If you're not familiar with donut time, they do really big extravagant donuts that are the size of your flipping head. They've got quite a few locations across London and every time I've walked past one, I have just avoided going in because I have no self-control, but I finally caved and I'll show you what I had. On the top it had Kinder Bueno, Nutella, and it was filled with like this really rich chocolate cream thing. And oh my God, I thought I was gonna die, but it was so worth it. Go to donut time. Not sponsored and as much as I would love that please don't sponsor me i need to go on a diet look how excited i got just talking about donuts <laughs> Anyway, that's enough. Back on topic. <laughs> Blind Spirit is a play by Noel Coward about a writer, Charles Condamine, who invites a medium to his house as research for his next book. However, during the seance, the ghost of his first wife, Elvira, returns to the house to haunt him. Much to the annoyance of his current wife, Ruth, who cannot see or hear the ghost. I was supposed to see this show on the 21st of March 2020. We all know what happened a few days before that, don't we? <laughs> so I was very happy to hear that it was returning because this was one that I was really looking forward to. Although I really enjoyed the film version that came out last year, seeing the play on stage is so much better. Noel Coward's writing is so witty and clever. It just transports me back to the time that it was written with like the language and the energy of the writing. The cast were great. They really brought these amazing characters to life and they were working together as an ensemble brilliantly. My standout favourite though was Rose Wardlow as Edith the housekeeper. She was phenomenal. Whenever she came on, the audience was in absolute stitches. She was hilarious. But as you've seen from the thumbnail of this video, someone who I was very excited to see was Jennifer Saunders as Madame Arcati. I've seen Jennifer on stage before in Lady Windermere's fan for the Oscar Wilde season at the Vaudeville a few years ago. So it was amazing to see her on stage again and I'm so happy that she came back for this second run of Blythe Spirit. And this character was perfect for her because she could put all her like wonderful wackiness and mad energy into it. Honestly, it was so worth the wait to see her as that character and it's an experience that I'll never forget. The set was beautiful as well. There were so many intricate little details and it was a very busy backdrop for this super eccentric show. I just loved every single thing about this production. I just, oh, I'm so happy I got to see it. This show was at the Harold Pinter Theatre, which is in the same area as all the others that I've been to recently. And it has the same kind of architecture as like the Wyndhams and the Noel Coward that are just around the corner. I'm gonna be going to the Pinter a lot over the next six months and they're getting loads of big names there. Like I'm seeing Ray Fiennes next month, James McAvoy in February and Jodie Comer in April. So it's safe to say I'm super hyped about the upcoming shows at the Pinter. <laughs> I was front row of the balcony, which is classed as restricted restrictive view. You have a safety rail in your view and it's a bit harder to ignore than some of the other restrictive view tickets that I booked before. But honestly, it was easy enough just to look over and under when I needed to see a different part of the stage rather than pay extortionate amounts for better seats. I'm gonna do a video at some point about my theatre habits, so I'll talk more about restrictive view tickets in that. So yeah, although this specific production has now closed, 
Blythe Spirit is a classic play that I've wanted to see for such a long time. It's got fantastically written dialogue, it's so much fun, so I definitely recommend going to see it if you can. My next theatre trip has already happened, so stay tuned for my review of Come From Away very soon. Thanks for watching, give it a like if you liked it, subscribe if you want more of this, but as always, stay safe and look after yourselves. Bye!